Hey there, this is Atul from team K29 Academy and in this video I'm going to talk about one of the common questions I get in my programs that's it's expensive. Now if you ever had that question whether related to my programs or anywhere anytime in life maybe um, I'll tell you my story on what I did it or how I transitioned because I had similar questions back in 2004-05 and then back in 2016-17 how it transitioned into myself as well. I'll share my story. Hopefully that will help you in understanding what I did in terms of for me. So let me take you back and quick a quick 30,000 foot view about those who don't know me. I'll keep it short and quick. Uh, this is my 23rd year in IT, working on cloud, multi-cloud, DevOps and cloud native technologies. What I'm biggest proud of is helped 12,000 plus individuals like you to learn cloud, cloud native, multi-cloud, DevOps, Kubernetes, and so on. I work with some of the biggest banks and some of the big companies across globe be it world pay in uk or royal bank of scotland in uk or scottish government in scotland or saudi railways in saudi arabia or a gen packed data whale hexaware pepperdine in us or toyota in brussels and to name a few as well but that's not how i started my journey in fact in back in 2020 i was earning way more than forty thousand dollars a month and this is not to show off or brag but it's to show you that what exactly is possible and if you look at my journey back i would have never imagined what what i was capable of if you would have asked me probably around even just 10 15 years back in fact i started my journey back in 2000 with just 8000 rupees salary which was under 100 dollars and i was lucky i was worked very very hard my first 5 years were very tough and i got a lucky that back in 2000 late 2004 early 2005 I moved into Imperial College. I was working here in back in London. And um, so I, was, I got lucky, but then one day, I think it was February in 2005, I saw a job in the portal, um, on a job portal, and I saw the salary uh, or the, the work salary, or there was a contract job, which was worth 450 pounds a day. At the time, my salary was around uh, 2,400 pounds, which is equivalent to around um, three thousand dollars my salary with this contract rate that was 450 pounds a day multiplied by 24 days around ten thousand dollars or close to ten thousand dollars so what i thought of is probably it's it's good i should aim towards that contract and i started i picked it but that was identity and access management that was it was back identity and access management here back in 2000 at that time so i didn't know much about identity and access management i was working as an oracle dba and i looked at I wanted to learn um, and I knew there was a gap. So I went into Oracle to see what that course course cost. And that was 3000 pounds uh, at the time back in 2005, I think early 2005. Uh, and me being uh, from India, typically I wanted to save a lot of money. And I realized that 3000 pound was very, very expensive than what I could afford. At least that's what I thought at the time uh, because my months, it was way, it was even more than my month salary. And what typically I, as the first, Thing came to my mind is oh i can learn on my own and i started learning on my own uh, on learning these things so i think i started learning on february uh, after looking at the price it's expensive so february went march april may i was work working weekends i was working long long uh, like um, weekends late hours evenings trying to learn with that probably i think one month passed two months passed i gave a couple of interviews couldn't clear my interviews i started spending more and more time learning because i knew there was a gap and to cut it short uh, story short back like that end to end i think spent around eight or nine months came back to october and i couldn't clear any interviews i was closer i was learning something more and more but never cleared inter uh, interviews and i think back then in october my wife i was recently got married at the time so my wife said, oh, you spent a lot of time on to this. Uh, um, and why don't we try or why don't you try out uh, and learning from or uh, go for a course in worst case, we'll lose a month's salary. Uh, with heavy heart, I was I knew that something will work out in worst case, I might lose month's salary. Uh, with a with lot of reservations, I went for that course back in, this was back in 2000, uh, that was back in 2005, I think October or so. Uh, the training was amazing, uh, no doubt about it. It was five days. I went in Oracle in Reading, which was close to London, I think around 40 minutes drive. Spent five days there. 
and that was i think i then i realized what i was missing where the gap was they gave me very structured study and i think probably in november or early december i got my first contract which was i think 425 pounds a day i'll probably might uh, put or upload this uh, series i'll try to find out the screenshots and put it in this video if i can find those contract i might have something on there for you so um, i got that contract and i was very very um, very very uh, you know um, amazed and i was very excited and and i think then uh, my so 425 uh, pounds a day multiplied by 24 days i think i was doing probably around 10000 pounds and this is 2000 late 2005 i think november or december 2005 then i was reflecting this in 2006 2007 and uh, 2006 uh, i think um, and that's when i realized uh, that i was a big big uh, fool in terms of not doing it um, a little bit earlier let me repeat I was a big fool of not doing it earlier. I spent that year. I think I, I think I wasted uh, around seventy thousand uh, or close to seventy-two thousand pounds on that uh, year. Let me repeat one more time. I wasted around seventy-two thousand pounds at that year in order to save three thousand pounds, and that was a big, big mindset shift I realized. And I was looking back, and you might be wondering how come you lose or you lost seventy-two thousand pounds. So I, I, then I did the calculation back in 2006. I wish I could have done that training a little bit earlier. So I would have every month I could have saved around 10,000 pounds or I would have earned 10,000 pounds multiplied by around eight or nine months, 90,000 pounds. And of course I was earning some, some my own salary. So subtract that around 70,000 pounds. And the minute I realized that point, that was a game changer. And every, and that, is was the big aha moment for me when i realized that since then i spent a lot of money uh, the second time phase came back in 2013 14 i was very happy for another four five six years and then another shift came in my back in uh, when i was moving to cloud i was working with oracle uh, on oracle products and then i got an opportunity to work on an oracle cloud project again i had no knowledge i flew all the way from uk to San Francisco or, or Oracle HQ to learn all this directly from product managers. And um, uh, this time I knew that, hey, in order for me to learn something quicker and an and, and opportunity, I need to grab that opportunity. And since then I did cloud, I did uh, Oracle cloud, DevOps, and then again, that again shifted my salary from 425 to probably seven, 800, 900 pounds, and then grew all the way to uh, 1,200 pounds as well. And then I did multi-cloud, um, Azure, AWS, Google, other cloud, Kubernetes, and so on as well. So I know it's a little bit long story, but I wanted to make a point that this two, one aha moment back in 2005 that changed my life completely, uh, that when I have to invest something big in my in, in anything that I need to do, I look at two things, two questions I have. Am I like, by doing this, what is my opportunity cost? Which means by not doing it, how much money I'm going to lose by not doing it? Or other way, if I do it, how much money I can make? Um, and since then, um, whatever I have to spend, I spent a lot of money now on my own learning, my team's learning. We spend a lot of money on all this self self development. And so if you have to decide something like that, uh, think from that point of view how much money you're going to lose if you don't do this particular task or if you don't take that uh, if you don't invest in yourself as well and i tell this story to a lot of guys and again um, i live and breathe by this story this this these two questions for me as well and i share it with my other a lot of other students who come to the program maybe before or after and every time i sh share this i hear more and more stories back like gargi i had a strong reservation about the price but the course way worth more than I realized I should have learned all this quickly. Maybe one, another one, which is, uh, which is here, Firoz, which says that I want to be precise that your course are worth, worth way more than what we are paying. Again, so look at these points in terms of when you're looking for the program, how much money you can make out of it. This is another one, Shri Krishna, is that I don't regret about the cost. So if you ever thought something is expensive, look at, is it really worth or how much money you can make after doing this or will it give you peace of mind will it uh, help you in growing in future as well here's another one kojo which is say that um, i think um, he uh, i think the, he tried um, udemy courses and a lot of other places from U youtube as well i tried learning kubernetes on my own there were there are weekdays and weekend sessions um, pre-recorded as well as on-demand videos you can learn as well so you can learn these things very very quickly as well 
this is another one and again i've lived all these things so i can correlate i can understand when you have to invest on big decisions like that so i was really hesitant while i enrolled my heart was racing when i was processing the payment not to lie it took more than two weeks before i got enrolled and this is now another one when, when you're discussing about in learning spending on comparing with udemy or free content i also have ton of courses in udemy but haven't started yet after going through only a few course here and after joining this discussion group i'm so much convinced that i'm the right play path for choosing k academy here's another one sukesh uh, initially thought that price was way higher but the value i got was much more than what i paid and these are the couple of things uh, you know to look at another one naman is saying um, I, Keton Academy knows the value of every penny we invest on these does ju just justice from here. This is another one I think Firoz I've already mentioned to you. Another one here from um, uh, this is I got an offer letter with the, watching the videos as well. I can go on and on. This is a Sri, Srinivas as well. Um, I think knowledge hub of any kind of questions to answer and having a lot of patience to answer these again. Again, these are basically becoming an expert from zero to fine as well. So like that. So there are if you ever thought if you ever thought that hey it's expensive look at and ask yourself and a question saying that how much you can earn by learning a particular skill set or how much money you're going to lose after um if you don't learn this so let me know what you think about it have you ever come across where you thought something is expensive but then did you look at did you start thinking from a point of view saying that how much money you're going to uh, to lose by not doing that with that i know it's a video is a little bit longer than i initially anticipated but i wanted to share what i went through that so that if you have to decide you decide based on these questions keeping these questions in mind with that this is atul from team keto academy i'll if you have any other question if you have any feedback for me if you have any other question please leave me a comment um and uh, i'll see you in another video